Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bianca. If you guys are new here, you should hit that subscribe button. Stick around. My mom's in the background. <laughs> So, I've gotten so many questions about how I edit my Instagram pictures, what I do for my filters or my presets, what I do on Lightroom, what I do in the process of taking the picture, everything kind of revolving around my Instagram. First off, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you probably should, so then you can see my life on Instagram. Right? Right. <laughs> so, my boyfriend Colin and I, Here's his hand. <laughs> Filmed this like vlogish style because this weekend I went and I took a bunch of Instagram pictures, racked up on a bunch of content, and just kind of filmed the process of how I do it and all of that stuff. So if you guys want to know kind of like the background of everything I do, then keep watching. And if you have any more questions, just leave them down below. So I'm in Charlotte. We are about to eat, which is honestly a huge, huge tip is to be full if you're gonna go do a long little photo shoot so you don't get hangry. <laughs> Especially with us, because both of us get hangry. Get hangry. Yes, easy. yes. Officially laid out all of my outfits. With my phone, I am going to take a picture of each outfit so I know, put them all in a duffel bag, and then I can change easily in my car. We're just gonna drive to a location that has little areas where you can just stay in the same spot and use a bunch of different walls and get her done. So, we're gonna eat really quick though and then go. Okay, so as far as how I pick my locations for where I take a bunch of pictures all the time, I usually just look on Instagram. Sometimes I find like cool places, actually majority of the time I find a lot of cool places through that. <laughs> actually, that's exactly how I find all my <laughs> places that I take pictures. If you follow like whatever places in like Charlotte's got a lot is what I follow our Charlotte agenda. They usually post places sometimes that would be like good picture opportunities. Food Instagrams for whatever city you live in is good too because then they post cute coffee shops. And then I always save it to my like folder on Instagram. Then I can reference back to it so I can know like where I wanna go. Like for instance, right now we're driving to this cafe that has a cute outdoor area. And also it doesn't really matter if they're open or closed because I'm just gonna be sitting outside. They actually do close in like 20 minutes though, which is for an hour which is more ideal anyway, because then no one would be around, and plus no one's really gonna sit outside in the winter. But, just like cute places like that, sometimes I follow like bloggers in Charlotte just to see like where they take pictures, or I'll search the Charlotte location, or little suburbs in Charlotte. So like we have South End, we have Dilworth, we have, is that where the restaurant's in, is Dilworth? No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Colin's taking me on a surprise date tonight, but literally won't tell me where we're going. And for those of you who really know me, know that that's like irking the shit out of me because I have to know <laughs> what's going on at all times. So he's literally having a heyday over yeah, here. I love the fact that I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Just looking up like locations of places, and if you see like a cute background of a photo someone's already taken, a lot of times people tag the location in their photos anyway just to get other people to see them who aren't following them. Sorry, the lighting's probably like really funky because we keep going in and out of the sun. But it's kind of like the basis of how I find my locations. I can do another one of these for like a travel edition, which I think would be really fun. But for right now, we're just gonna do one about like taking pictures where you live, basically. Okay, so pulled up at the first little location that I found on Instagram. It's called Roots Cafe in Charlotte. Bianca said I can't have a street bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to get hurt. Someone's got to race some golden retrievers with me. <laughs> First, I always take my pictures for my Instagram with my iPhone because I use Aspen Ovard's presets, which I'm going to address later. As far as the lighting goes, I usually try and do it in the middle of the day, but I like shaded areas just because it's easier for me to edit. Okay, all the motorcycles. <laughs> Keep going. Anyways, I was trying to be in the shade, and then also if you don't have a super awesome BF like Colin to take your pictures, I have a life hack for you, which will come in a second. First hack is to pick an outfit that's pretty basic. So right now, I'm just wearing like a black sweater, black leather pants, and these mules shoes. Oh yeah. These are from Beachy Dolls, by the way. You can get multiple different pictures with one outfit, so I could take... So I can take one picture with just this outfit, and then I also want to take another picture with just this jean jacket and kind of do from your legs up, just like the main focus of the picture would be the jean jacket. So then that's another picture. So then you got like one, two, and then also a full body picture with this jacket on. So it's like three little pictures and one outfit, then it's a lot easier and you don't have to switch back and forth. 
then also once you get to like the place of interest of where you want to take your picture then from there I literally just kind of like walk around and find other places to take pictures so we'll end up doing that next and then another tip is to have a prop so I usually have my purse a pair of sunglasses I'm eating food and I'll say evil coffee donuts donuts <laughs> anything like that all right he's about to start taking pictures of me also for like I just try not to like pick try and be more actiony you know I don't know how to say what I'm saying like less pose but all my pictures are pretty posed I don't know do you <laughs> Once you take it, then you gotta go through, look through them, make sure you saw like at least one good one, and then when you are looking through them, all you gotta do is just hit the favorite button so you can keep it for later. Like a little playlist. Yeah, and then you just hit favorite, you can edit it later. And then you just move on to the next one. Yeah, it smells like shit. <laughs> no, it's definitely the sewers. It smells like a sewer at least. That Colin farted. No, what? That, I, if my fart smelled like that, I would tell you to leave me. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, I'm just gonna do other two outfits. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you'll see all the final pictures. But I would just go through the outfits and just do different poses, try and make them like you're in action, things like that. And then, yeah, we'll change outfits in the car because that's how I do it. So Colin just went in some random store to go to the bathroom So I thought this was a perfect time to share with you guys my next tip So on days that Colin's not with me and I'm trying to get an insta pic I have a serious life hack of how I do this on your Apple watch You have a camera app and on your watch you can see exactly what your camera is pointing to So I'm gonna set my phone up. So here's my phone. You see my camera inception. Here we go. Okay. Hello What's up? Okay, so I have my phone set up right there behind me. Going out and it's facing me. And while I'm standing here, I can literally see me on my Apple Watch, just like that. And you can press to have the camera take the picture straight from your watch. So you can set your phone up, make it perfect, literally see yourself on your Apple Watch and take the picture from your Apple Watch and it counts down three seconds and then takes the picture. So if you guys have an Apple Watch and you wanna use self timer and you're tired of hitting the 10 seconds and then running and running back and forth, now I figured out you can do it from your Apple Watch. So a lot of my pictures are done by self timer. Here's me in the thing, see I'm like, moving but anyways I take a lot of pictures with self timer and I just take them from my Apple watch now so that's a life hack as well okay so I did a quick little change in the car so now I'm in this little another all black outfit because that's what my favorite thing is but tip is to keep a lint roller in your car because if you have sweaters and stuff especially in the winter then they kind of get on your um, like jeans and stuff and then leave like a little like white fluffies I don't like that plus I have to reapply lipstick and another tip is to kind of go a little bit heavier on your makeup if you're going to take pictures so it kind of shows up a little bit more in the picture. I'm using the MAC Babies All Right lipstick. This is my literal favorite. And the Dervish lip pencil. They pair really well together. My handy dandy purse from Nordstrom. Outfits for people. <laughs> <laughs> I did another outfit change in the last outfit that I'm actually gonna wear to dinner with Colin. So as far as like Instagram goes for your stories and stuff, um, something that I always do is just take the regular picture with my camera, or if I wanna do a boomerang, I'll just take the boomerang and then save it and edit it all later so you're not in a rush. That way you can like put your own filters on it and um, then put it on your story because you can take pictures straight from your camera roll and put them on your story. So for instance, today we went and got donuts earlier you guys will see this on my Instagram too if you're already following me, but oh, why isn't it loading? Hold on, wait, I totally think Aspen Obart's pregnant, by the way. <laughs> but, um, I only hear about it like three times a day. I'm invested. <laughs> okay, for example, so at the donut place, I waited and then I edited it. Edited it. Edited. I put my own filter on it that I use because you guys know I use Aspen Obart's filters. So then I did that and then I also did it again with the donuts. I'm going to show you guys how I edit her pictures and what I use. I'm going to show you guys how I edit it. So bringing it into Lightroom because I use Lightroom. Aspen Obart's presets are already on here. I bought them with my own money. So 
I come down here after I favorited every picture that I like and then also go back and delete your pictures because you're gonna have literally so many. I don't know which one, I'm just gonna use the one of the first ones for an example. So I hit okay, I bring it in, scroll down to get her presets. I always try and use outdoor. That one's my favorite. So you copy the settings and then you scroll back up. And then you just hit this button up here and you hit paste settings. Then it just goes straight onto the picture. I mean, personally, I kind of like how that looks already. Let me turn up the brightness really quick. Um, but then also, I would always go in and maybe adjust the light a little bit, or also the color. Colin's really good about this, but um, you can up and down the hue saturation. If I ever wanna make myself more tan, I always um, up the saturation of the orange, but then you can just go from there and play around with it. So that's how I edit it. Now, as far as like a theme goes, I highly recommend getting this app right here. It's called, it's either Unum or UNUM, Unum, same thing, but it helps you lay out your Instagram. So it has everything loaded that I've already posted on Instagram down here, and then you can add pictures that you want to post to make sure they'll look good on your feed um, if you wanna be that excessive. Sometimes I also like when I do photo shoots like this, I like to import all the pictures and so I can plan it out. So for instance, how I took the three pictures in that same outfit, well I took all those pictures in the other outfits, so I wanna post one in that all black outfit and then post another outfit and then maybe another one, then come back to the other picture I took in that outfit so you kinda of have variety. But then you just put it in next to all the pictures and then make sure that it matches. Another thing that I like to do with my stories is use this app called Unfold. So that's how I make them look really pretty. And then as far as my text on my stories, I just use a bunch of different fonts one after the other. Um, but for Unfold, it has a bunch of different things that you can do. So the other day I posted this, it was a boomerang and I was just showing you guys that I was uploading that. And then also when you come to your stories, then you can kind of jazz it up a little bit. You see on here, I use three different fonts. I tagged them um, with my filter. So it just makes it look more clear. So you can really spice up your um, filters and then add them to your Instagram stories. And also I think something that's important now for Instagram is people kind of just like to see what you're doing in your life more than it being perfect. So I've been trying to really just use my Insta story more and show people what I'm doing and like things I'm buying. So yeah, those are my tips. <laughs> All right, thanks so much to my man for helping me film this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and stick around because we have another College Week in My Life video coming at you this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. And in it, we toured an apartment. So oh, yeah. you're gonna wanna see it. And we will see you guys in, oh, he won't, but I will. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.